Hi everybody, welcome to this tutorial by Computer Fix US in association with Virus Removal 911. Today we're going to be going through how to, uh, you know, the steps of taking out this malicious software that's called Internet Security. I'm going to quickly take you through the blog here. You know, this uh, virus has been there for quite a long time. We first noticed it in 2009. What it basically does is it goes ahead and you know makes you think that you've got uh, that that this is a security virus, uh, you know, software, and it's detecting viruses on the computer which don't really exist. So this is a fake software, and it uh, it can go to the extent of ensuring that you don't connect to the internet and things like that, and hold your computer at ransom. I'm quickly going to go ahead and take you through the steps that uh, you could do uh, to take out the virus from your computer. There are a couple of different ways you could do it, but most importantly, uh, ensure that you back up important data before you do the, any of these steps. You know, In fact, anytime you do anything on your computer that you try to fix yourself, ensure that you've backed up your important data because you don't want to end up losing it. All right. Now, just in case if you have important data and you don't want to take a chance of fixing this by yourself, you could call uh, Computer Fix US or Virus Removal 911 on 360-244-4302. That's the number in the United States. And just in case you're calling from outside the United States, you can put the plus one code before that. And we'd fix it for you for as low as $39.99, payable securely via PayPal that's the lowest cost that we can offer you uh, again it all depends on how long it takes to fix it but that's the minimum cost okay so and there's no cost for diagnosis so we'll first go ahead and remotely connect to your computer we'll go ahead and check uh, what stage the virus is at if it's at a very extreme stage or it's just at the earliest stage and then accordingly we we'll give you a quote but the minimum cost is 39.99 and the maximum is 79.99 that's the range that it can go into but again, we'd let you know before we start working on it. And there's no charge or there's no you know, cost for uh, consultancy, like for us to let you know what needs to be done and all that. All right, getting down to the different options of what you could do is, the first thing you could do is you could restore the computer back to factory settings. Different manufacturers and different operating systems have different ways to do that. You could go to uh, your manufacturer's site or, you know, and and figure that out uh, if you have a Dell then uh, you can restart the computer and when you see the Dell logo you press control F11 that should start your factory settings uh, what factory settings means is that it'll take it back to how it was when it was shipped across to you so you would lose everything that's there on the computer okay and uh, so you got to be careful when you're doing that you got to be sure as I said this is the most important thing backup important data all right that's one option for you if you want to do it yourself the other option is reinstall the operating system that is possible if you have the operating system disk and the drivers disk just in case you need the drivers again I'll keep repeating you need to back up important data the third option is use system restore system restores the built-in functionality within uh, Windows so you know this is Windows 7 that I'm using here so you can just type system restore and you can click on that that will take you to system restore and then from there on it will show you how you know which like for example let's say let's say your uh, this uh, this thing this virus came up on let's say the the 3rd of March that's when it came up then you'd s then you'd select that and then you go next and then it'll ask you to confirm if that's the date that you want to restore it to and then it'll start its process and it'll take it back in time so hopefully that you take it back in time to before the virus struck your computer and that should help you out by the way these steps that I'm telling you all are not only really helpful to f take care of the internet security virus but also uh, various other viruses as well especially these three steps here
in the case that you don't have important data or you don't have now as far as system restores concerned it doesn't get rid of your data it'll just uninstall the updates or the programs that you've installed uh, when you go back in time so that's that's the only difference so this is the most safer thing to try uh, then now this is coming to the specific steps to for internet security removal uh, what you've got to do is you got to click on the start menu and then in the run option you've got to type this command so you start run and then you type that command exactly just the way it is you've got to type it there task uh, kill.exe okay exactly the way it is here and by the way this is the blog that you can go to if you want to go to the steps that's one thing uh, that'll go ahead and kill that particular task uh, that's running uh, the virus then you can delete the internet security file by going to app data this is where the this is the location where again you do it at the same place start run and then you type that command in there so okay app data I s that'll start that'll go ahead and delete that app so the first thing you got to do is got to kill the process because it won't be able to delete it whilst the process is on so kill the process delete the f uh, the uh, malware file then the other place you got to go to is the registry and you know you need to go to this part of the registry and delete that registry entry so how do you go to the registry you just type registry or you can just type reg edit and you click on that to the registry again this is how you could do it in windows 7 and windows uh, vista in uh, xp what you have to do you have to click on start and then you have a run here somewhere and then once you get in the run box then you type reg edit dot exe and it take you to the same place there as well as for XP to go on the system restore you just go to all programs because XP won't have the search thing down here you know so you just go to all programs and you go to accessories system tools let's see here there it is system tools and you'll have system restore that so this is how you'd get into it in XP that's the path you'd follow for system restore anyways coming back to the registry you go to this particular key and you delete it how do you get to this key it's hklm that's H key local machine then you go to software microsoft and then you go to windows then you go to current version and then internet security will be listed there's a program uh, it will be listed somewhere here internet security you know you need to go there to that and then right click and delete okay so that's how you can go there and delete the registry entry so that way you take you kill the process first you've deleted the the file and you've deleted the registry entry as well and then you can restart your computer and after you restart your computer if you follow the steps to the T then you know that should have temporarily got rid of the virus after that's done you can run these four different softwares Malwarebytes, Super and I Spyware, Trojan Remover, CC Cleaner if you go to the blog virus removal 911 that's virus hyphen removal hyphen 911.com you'd see the internet security removal I'm gonna paste the link down there for you all okay and then you click on this it'll take you to the site to download it I'm using Chrome here as you can see and then it'll ask you if you want to keep or discard the file and then you can download it there or you can just click on this download now so that's how you're gonna download these programs then you're gonna install them and then you're gonna run those scans and you're gonna clean it after that's done you restart your computer again and then you should be good just in case you're not very confident of doing the steps I would strongly advise that you should go ahead and give us a call and we take care of it for as low as 39.99 you know save yourself the trouble save yourself the frustration 
you know, I mean, it's not worth it. And you know, you can you can be assured that some that a professional is going ahead and taking care of it for you. Anyways, uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed the video and uh, give us a call, and we'd be more than glad to help you. That's three six zero two four 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 three zero two. Have a great day.